Hi there, my name's Anthony James. Uh, I'm a junk model maker, that means I make models out of junk. And have done for about 20 years as a company called Creature Armour. I work for film, television and theatre as a prop maker and I work in lots and lots of schools and have done across the UK and beyond. I'm just going to do a little bit now about general model making techniques. So if you've already seen this on another one of my YouTube posts, then just fast forward to the bit where my shirt changes colour, that will be the actual make. For those that haven't uh, seen any of my posts before, I'm just going to do a little general piece about making models. The first thing you're going to need, if you're making them out of junk, is some scissors. These are my sort of medium sized scissors, good for adults, but if you're working with children, what you want are these smaller scissors with the blue handles on them. Uh, they're obviously different colours. If they're yellow and green in the UK, they're for left-handed people. If they're just one colour like this, they're for right-handed. Get that right straight off, because obviously if you're trying to cut with the wrong pair of scissors for you, you won't be able to make anything. Children particularly will think it's their talent that's at fault, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, they're sharp, be careful. Small scissors like this are blunt-ended, which is great, so they're not quite as easy to stab yourself with. Also, um, they're very good for cutting round corners, so for making smaller models, these are the scissors you want, particularly if you're working with children. And then, everything I build, and you can see some of my things behind me, is made with masking tape. Uh, masking tape is fantastic stuff. It's, you don't have to wait for it to dry, it's dry straight away, and you can paint over it. But there are ways to use it, and certain ways not to use it. This is one of the ways not to use masking tape. Don't try and break it with your teeth. The first thing, obviously, you'll get it stuck to your lip and it hurts when you pull it off. That can make a child's lip very sore. Uh, it's also not very hygienic. Uh, so don't do it that way. The way I do it, and it's a very simple way, yes, you can use scissors, but I tend to find that slows you down. Just get the tape off. And you can see in my hand there, the, the sticky side's away from you. Put your thumb on the corner and pull. The tape across straight off makes you very quick at making things. I'm going to put that bit of tape there later on because that's how to do it. Put lots of little bits of tape around so they're ready to use. I'm going to do it again. Put a bit of tape off. Put your thumb there, right in the corner. Don't worry if you bite your nails or you don't think you've got very long nails. Just press your thumb on really hard. It will still work and tear. And that's your tape. That's really all you'll need. Uh, obviously some paints at the end of the make will be very good. Uh, there's all kinds of different paints out there. Try and use a water-based paint if you're working with children because that's easier to wash out of where they're going to get the paint all over. Uh, and uh, obviously the way I'm going to show you to make models, you should have a surface that's quite easy to paint. There are lots of different makes of paint out there. I find acrylic some of the best paint to use. So this re that's really just the general model make. Now on to the actual building of what are you going to make next? Off we go. Hi and welcome to another Creature Armour make. We're going to make a, a, a sort of mad alien thing called a VASP. It's from my Creature Armour universe, so it's just something I've made up, but I quite like it as a make, I thought I'd show you. So the first thing you're going to need is a sheet of paper. Uh, I've done this before, if you watch my dinosaur makes, this is sort of very similar. So we've got a sheet of old scrap paper and just scrub it up like this and then really give it a scrub in your hand, open it out and just stick it to the table. So you're going to press that all out. This is a laminated table so that's great, we can do that. Half on and half off, do the tape and just press it straight down onto the table. You can use the magic word wallop. Uh, so there we go, wallop half on and half off. Nice long strips of paper go all the way along the paper like that. Wallop and then here goes another one. Last one, another bit there, wallop like that. Press it down and stick it to the table. Now what you do now is you put one corner and very carefully pull it off the table. You have to check your corners and whether they'll come away. If they do, you will end up with that which is brilliant. The next thing you need is a plastic bottle. Plastic bottles are brilliant for making all kinds of things. Uh, sharks, aliens, palaces, castles, zeppelins, anything you like, they're brilliant. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to roll it up. Now, the thing is, slightly different from when I make dinosaurs and things like that, we're going to leave this part of the bottle, which is going to be the creature's large eye. And you can see that's a fabulous eye anyway. So we just put the bottle along there a little bit and then roll it up there. And that will just leave that eye just there and then I'm going to pull the rest of the 
tape together there. You can see there, look, we, there's a lot of bottles still showing. So I'm gonna put a nice straight bit of tape on the end where that eye's going to be, just there. And I'm just gonna put some masking tape over what's left of the bottle. If you have got any bottles showing, just put some tape over it. You can put more paper if you've got some, but I'm just gonna put some tape over that because it's such a small area like that. And that's gone. And there's your bottle covered your big eye at the end. The next thing we're going to need for this particular mate is the VASP's tail. Now, to do that, we get a sheet of newspaper. There's a bit of newspaper there. Scrumple it up in your hands. Same sort of thing as doing the paper there. Open it out. And this is where it's slightly different. Okay, so we get that now. The first thing you'll need to do is get a nice long bit of tape, as long as the piece of paper, and put it on the end of the table. Then, you just get the top of the newspaper together there and scrumple it together. Now, this is where you can use a bit of help. So, we have here my glamorous assistant, Edward's hand, who's going to hold that for me there, while I turn and twist the tape there, like that. And I'm going to twist it all the way up like that. And keep twisting, don't let go. Keep twisting, don't let go. Get your masking tape once you've done that and just tape your tape all the way along like that. And now you can get, like, uh, get that there done like that. That's brilliant. And uh, thank you, Edward. And now I'm now gonna just point the end of that piece of newspaper like that. And there's the tail. That, very simply, you stick on the back where the top of the bottle used to be there, look. So just push your newspaper up to it. Take a nice bit of tape round like that and just stick it on. Simple as that. I'm going to put a bit more tape around that. You want it secure. Masking tape is fantastic for sticking, so you want that nice and secure there. And there's your long basking tail. Now, the next thing, which is a lovely, lovely simple thing to do, is we get some coloured paper. Now, this is where you get to choose the colour of your VASP. My VASP is green, so I've got some green paper. Yours could be orange, red, whatever paper colour you've got, make that the colour of your VASP. So I'm going to move that just out of the way down there for the moment and I've got some green paper here. What you'll need is roughly an A3 piece of paper. So I'm gonna cut that into an A3 piece of paper. A3 to A4, basically. Two of these smaller sheets of paper, that's what you need. So there's a roughly A3 piece of paper. And now what you do is you get some colored pens. They can be any color you like. I've got blue and red. And take the two tops off, like that. Hold the two. And then you just scribble a bit on that piece of paper like this. Okay? Now, you can use any colours you like on any coloured paper, that's up to you, but you can even use three pens together in your hand, or four pens together in your hand if you want to. Whatever you want to do to make this a bit more fun, like that. And go right up to the edges so you want the whole paper covered evenly and equally all over like that. like that and then do the same thing on the other side it's very important that you actually do it on the other side as well like this and you'll see why in a moment so I'm just going to do all that over there that's uh, those that may have seen other um, uh, my youtube posts like this you know that I, I met these models in real time as such so here we are that's that bit done there and then very importantly put the tops back on your pens because a lot of people forget to do that, it's very important. Now, there's our piece of paper and all you're going to do now is you're going to fold it one way, quite tightly, fold it the other way. Fold it one way, fold it the other way. Fold it one way, and fold it the other way. Now, you may recognise this obviously because this is a very simple fact. Um, a lot of people have made fans when they're at school. Children, I'm assuming you've already made fans at school, and this is how to do it. Just fold it one way, fold it the way. If you do it on a table, you're going to be a lot better at doing it. And there is your fan shape, like this. But today, we're going to now cut that in half, just like that. So we've got two, and these are going to be the wings of the VASP. So what we do now is we just get a bit of tape there, put it there. I'm going to choose, choose the top. I'm going to put that sort of just there and there. There's one. And the trick to this bit is have a little bit of tape, a little bit of tape, and stick 
the very back of the fan to your model as well, there. And that will just make sure the wing sort of stays sticking out like that, which is lovely. I'm going to do the same again this side. Like that. And I'm going to put the wing there. Now, rather than have you sit watching me do that again, I'm now going to do a slightly smaller piece of paper than the A3 um, to make another fan, which is going to make the sort of fin that's on the back just here. So, with a bit of creature arm magic, I'll see you in a moment. Ah, you're back! There's my extra fin for the back there, so I'm going to just whack that on in the middle, sort of there, like that. And again, just use a little bit of tape and just stick the very back of it down there. Now, there are lots of ways you can now do this. You can actually just bend the last bit of those fans over. It makes them stick up. Just that last little bit there. I'll do that on the side there, just use it. Just bend the fan over a little bit like that. And they'll stick out and they'll stick up like that. Now, as you've already treated these as such with the pens, you don't need to paint them, so don't paint the paper when you've done this. I'm going to put that fan together there as well. And I'm just going to bend the end of that one over a little bit as well, which should stop it from folding in. You can see that actually makes the wings sort of all buckle out like that. It just looks really fantastic when you do that. The next bit is another piece of paper. Now here's some more of that paper which I've just pre-done. Uh, fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And get your scissors and you just go snip, 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 stop. So don't go to the very end. Just stop before you get to the end. Snip, 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 stop. Snip, 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 stop. Snip, 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 stop, and then you're very close to the end of your finger, so just be very careful with this last snip. Snip, 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 stop, and you make this. Now, I use this a lot in various creature armor makes. It's fantastic stuff. Give it a bit of a scrumple, looks better. I'm going to use that much, and so that means I've got a little bit to sit on the tail, just the end of the tail, sort of like a lion's tail, really. And that just goes on the end there, which is a lovely little, just a, a nice little feature. I like that a little bit there. Like that, that's on. And then the next bit is at the front. And what we do is we just put that underneath the front, like that. So it's just on that front bit there. And this sort of like the barbels of a catfish or something like that. It just makes that interesting bit there. Give them a bit of a scrumple. And to all intents and purposes, You've now finished your alien vase, but there it is. Here's one we made earlier and painted that one just to match. Can you see it's exactly the same, mate? In fact, oh, but I didn't really finish this one, look, because those bits aren't bent up and they should be. So I'm just going to do that for you now so you can see that there and that one there with those fins all bent up lovely. And there are the vasps. Have a go at making that yourself. Paint with acrylic paints, they're fine and they're really good. I've done some red dots, you can do any stripes, you can do any colour you like and enjoy making your